Okay, welcome. So we are factorizing quadratic trinomials with four terms. So I'm going to do the first one, which is x squared minus 4x plus 5x take away 20. So I can look at these in terms of grouping them because they both have something that is common and that's what we need to find a common factor. So likewise with 5x minus 20, there's a common factor of 5. So with x squared take away 4x, I can factorize a x out. And that leaves x take away 4. Likewise, I am able to factorize a 5 out of my second equation. And that becomes 5 in brackets, x minus 4. Now, this shows me that we've got x times in with x minus 4, and we've got positive 5 times in with x minus 4. So that means I have a common factor again, and I can substitute that out, and that leaves me with x plus 5. Both of them are times in, are multiplying with x minus 4. So likewise over here with my next question, this time it's in three terms, but I'm going to get it into four terms. So the first thing I think about is how can I split this middle term? So that's the first thing I need to think about. So to, for, me to, um, for me, I'm going to think about all the different ways I can split it but I need to make sure I've got a factor. So a factor of 30 would be th um, 3, would be 6, would be 5, and that's it. So then I know that I need to make sure that I've got one of those in my question. So I need to split negative 11p. So to do that, I'm going to be looking at my 5 and my 6. So I'm going to rewrite it as p squared minus 5p minus 6p plus 30. Now, if I divide 6 and take the 6 out of 30, it leaves me with 5. So instantly, it shows me that I'm going to have, a, um, which is exactly what I want, because I'm going to also have 5 over here. So I'm going to leave it in that order, and now I'm going to factorize it out by looking at my first p squared minus 5p. I'll factor p out, and that leaves me with p take away 5. Likewise, I'll factor out my 6, and that leaves me with p. Now I've, I've factored out negative 6 here. So I'm, it's, oh, this is going to turn into a negative because of when I times a negative, a negative will become a positive. So how many 6s in 30? 5. So it'll be minus 5. Straight away I can see that I have something that is common, which means I can rewrite my question as P. Take away 6 in brackets and P take away 5 in brackets. And that is how we factorize a quadratic trinomial with four terms.